Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, Welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to know when I post. It would mean so much to me. And also, make sure to follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. So I've been asked many times um, how I do my eyeliner. I've had someone ask on here. Many people have messaged me on Instagram and also in public. I have a lot of people asking how I do my eyeliner because it looks very sharp and that's because it's not really anything that has to do with talent. It's because I use tape. Um, so I will show you guys how I do my signature Maddie wing um, in the comfort of your own home. It's actually pretty simple. Anyone can do it. So I'm excited to show you guys how I do it. So the only things you are going to need to do this is scotch tape and a liquid pen eyeliner of your choice. The one I'm using right now is called Araceli. Um, I got it in an Ipsy bag and I'm just using it because I have it and it works pretty well, but I do really recommend the Tardis eyeliner. That's a really good one. And also the Makeup Revolution eyeliner pen, and it's also like 20,000 times cheaper. Um, so I really recommend that one. That's it. And if you make any mistakes, because I still make mistakes to this day, um, the eyeliner sometimes will bleed under the tape. Uh, you're just gonna need your concealer and a little brush. I'll pull you guys in a little bit so you can see my face nice and closely. And then we can get started, bro. Hello, oh my gosh. So close. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your scotch tape and you're gonna take a little piece off, about that big, and first put it on the side of your hand or wherever on your hand, I just put it there. And this just takes off some of the tackiness so it's not like, you know, screwing up under your eyes. And we're going to put that right under my eye and line it up with like the natural eye shape you have. So you see how mine goes off of it like that. And this just makes it look more fitting for your face. Sometimes if you try making it a weird angle that doesn't go with your eye, it can look a little crazy. That's what I used to do in high school. I have been doing this method since I was a baby um, and it's always worked for me. So, and once you have that there, it's pretty much just time to put the eyeliner on. So the first thing I do is I make a little, like I fill in the little black triangle, if you know what I mean, just to get that out of the way. So, so you're just gonna fill in right there. It could just be very sloppy. It doesn't have to look super good just to get it over with. And then after that, you are gonna line by your eyes. So I get nice and close to my waterline at first just to make sure I have that filled in. And then when you're going towards the center of your eye, just make sure you really try to get the point of the eyeliner in there because um, you don't want to be going all over the place. So after you get that done, you can start like using the eyeliner pen to make the part that goes right above your lash line as thick as you want. If you know me, you know I do it pretty thick. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And now here comes the part that requires a little bit of finesse. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you have your eyeliner at an angle with the tape to make your point. Cause you know, the point, you don't want it to be rounded. You want it to be as sharp as you can get it. So for me, I usually like, you know when an airplane is about to go off and it, it's going off the, uh, what's it called? The speedway, the runway? I don't fucking know, dude. Anyways, you wanna like use the tape to get Give yourself like like some time I don't like I could just do it to explain it so you see how I'm like starting up here but then I like start on the tape first because like if I start right where my eye is you risk making your wing not look super sharp so I'll do it again for this eye so you can see and doing that just makes it so the wing looks good. So then you're gonna keep like dragging the pen down to make sure it is a straight line up here. Cause you see there's a little indent there. You wanna make sure you connect the part where your lash is with that really cute little triangle you have right there. So 
So right now what I'm, I just did is I grabbed one of my backup eyeliners because something also very helpful is you don't want a dry eyeliner or else this will get really difficult to do. So you want to make sure you have a lot of eyeliner. And right now it looks like, damn, that doesn't, that doesn't, sorry about that, that doesn't look good, Maddie. And then the reveal with the tape. This is what my eyeliner looks like. And this one is definitely like, I feel like perfect. Personally, and this is just me and sometimes you need to get a little brush just to clean up the little tape marks that might be there is this isn't an eyeliner look that you can have by itself um, I think it looks a lot better with big lashes um, So I am going to go put lashes on and like the rest of my face makeup so you can see the full effect of it with the rest of my makeup on Okay, so this is the finished look with the lashes like it, you get what I'm saying now like like this definitely is something that I feel like needs lashes with it. You know what I mean? Um, Cause that's kind of what gets you like the, the look. It's kind of like a, like a doll face type of look, you know, like that. Mm. You know, I don't know. Um, it's definitely like really cute and I think it really accentuates my eyes a lot more um, because you know, I look adorable without makeup, but I think this looks super cute. And also if you were to have to clean up um, the eyeliner, cause it didn't happen in this video and I like kind of low key wish it did, but it didn't. Um, you would just like dab onto your um, foundation, not foundation, you would dab onto your concealer and then get a brush that looks like this as you can see it is see how this is just like a little brush especially it's like stiff too and just like line under the eye and get it all cleaned up sometimes using a makeup sponge can help buff it out um so that's always an easy fix um but i'm happy you guys are interested in my eyeliner i hope this helped somebody i know it's kind of something hard to explain so i'm happy i was able to just show you how i do it just make sure you have a stockpile of eyeliners like i said if you do do your eyeliner like this almost every day, which I do. Um, I highly recommend the Makeup Revolution eyeliner because you're going to be spending a lot of money on it. It's definitely you use up a lot of it um, and scotch tape. So it's pretty cheap to do um, and it looks super cute. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, give me any more suggestions if you ever want to know like how I do something or whatever, any questions. I love answering them and helping you guys out in any way I can. But I'm going to go now. Uh, you guys have a great week and I can't wait to see you next week. I always look forward to it. All right. Bye, guys.